We got it live right here with the Batman, baby. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Yes, Tony Batty is loving life in the NBA, and he's brought his brother along for the ride. Derek Batty is a former college star who's had his career put on hold because of an injury. While recovering, his kid brother extended him an invitation. After I got hurt in Seattle, you know, and they were like, hey, you may have to have surgery, you're going to be out for a while. It was either I go back to Philadelphia and just hang out there, or go back to Dallas and hang out there. And he was like, hey, you might as well come, come kick it with me, man, and, and let's do this until you get healthy. You know, you can help me, I can help you, and we can do this together. Here we go, here we go. The Batie brothers do everything together. They live together, travel together, even go for haircuts together. Just little things that go along with the package. Tony and Derek have formed a very strong and special bond over the years, and they are never shy when it comes to talking about one another. I think he kind of pushed me into the game, period. And then when I started playing the basketball, he pushed me to get better. So I credit him with a lot of my success today. Tony is, man, one of the most athletic players I've seen play in the league in a while. I mean, if you got athleticism, God-given talent on top of intelligence, it's hard to beat that, and that's what he has. Tony has game, and so does Derek. He's strong, athletic, and 20 pounds heavier than Tony. So if the Petit brothers got out of the chair and went onto the court, who'd win? I mean, it's a toss-up. If we play make or take it, I may win if I hit the first shot. <laughs> He was beating up on me when I was small. I couldn't handle myself, but I outgrew him. I got him by an inch or so now, so I can take it to the rack on him. Derek is Tony's biggest fan and coach off the floor. He's at every game watching every move his little brother makes. And if Rick Pitino misses something in his game, chances are Derek won't, and he'll let Tony know about it. I'm probably a lot harder on him than most people because I tell him, hey, look, you're not doing this. You're just not doing this. You're not getting it done. You're doing too much of this. You're not doing enough of this. Sometimes I know he gets so tired of hearing me like, you got to be more aggressive on the offensive end of the basketball court. I think it's been good, especially from a uh, second person's view, sitting in the stands watching, but who also knows the game, knows my game personally. And, you know, he can give me his opinion on how I look out there. Derek Petit was the king of his court at Temple University. He enjoyed a solid four-year career playing for John Chaney. Tony didn't follow his brother to Philadelphia, but he did follow Derek's career and tried hard to match it. Everything you do, you want to try to outdo your big brother. So he started playing basketball, and it was like, okay, I'm going to start playing too, and I'm going to be better, you know. Even though it wasn't real serious, but just, you know, you never want your, your big brother to outdo you. Tony wanted to be like his brother in more ways than one. His tattoo is just like Derek's, and it's a symbol that has sealed their relationship. They call him Little Bat, and they call me Big Bat, Batman. That's what they call us from kindergarten all the way up to when they found our name was Batty. That's what they call us. And I'll say, you know what? Unless I decide to go Muslim, I'm going to be Batty forever. We're just kind of fitting in good with the B-A-T-T -T in the last name. So that's Batman with two T's. Don't forget it. You've been working real hard out there on the court with Coach Patino. And I love you, man. <laughs>